Smith coming forward behind the jab here, closing seconds. Oh, off balance and scores the knockdown. Does better, BF. He caught Smith coming in. Seven, eight. You're right. Class is in session, people. Big exchange. Oh, he gets him again. Another clubbing shot. That's what Better Beef has. Yes, he's a punching machine. He's heavy-handed. But look at the timing right there. Joe Smith Jr. from the wrong position, throwing the right hand, dropping the lead hand as he's coming in. Same knockdown here. Timed it perfectly right on the temple, which took the legs of Joe Smith Jr. Road grading opponents. Another right hand gets around the guard. Uppercut tries to sneak in. There's a hook. There's an uppercut. Better Beef's on the attack. Joe Smith is crumbling again into the ropes. He is in serious trouble here. From Better BF today, he had to set those punches up the right way so they could land as flush and as clean as they did to get the, the reaction that he got from Joe Smith. This fight tonight, Joe Smith got hit by the power. He panicked, and whatever game plan he had went out the window, and he accepted the fact that that he was going to get knocked out. That's the kind of power that Arthur Better Beev has. A primed and ready world champion is being torn down here in round two. Another right hand. Uppercut. Big uppercut. He is stumbling, and this is over. Arthur Better Beev has done it in destructive fashion. And here's the end of the fight right here. Better be of just taking his time, looking for the right kill shot. You see, he follows the head, lift him up with uppercuts right up the middle. The referee steps in and said, I've seen enough of this one-sided beatdown. And Archer Better be of is now about to hear it official that he has his third belt. Paint on any of the labels you want for Archer Better be of. Most destructive, most heavy-handed. Whatever you want to say, he fits it when you're putting it in that bucket.